The A vowel, as in cat, can be a tricky vowel for a lot of singers. Now, it's not a vowel that I use when I'm training classical singers in exercises, but I use it a lot with pop and other contemporary style singers. Let's discuss the four reasons why the A vowel can be problematic, and then we will incorporate one exercise. And then at the end, I will ask you an important bonus question. Welcome back to another edition of Victoria's Victoria's Vocal Tips, 34 years of teaching voice, 46 years of studying voice, all different styles. My students have ranged from ultra beginners all the way through advanced touring professionals, voice teachers, choral directors, and competition winners. I always give you serious vocal technique made simple and fun. The A vowel is a brighter vowel. That's why I use it a lot with pop singers. But sometimes the vowel gets too bright because of reason number one, spreading your mouth. So listen, here's a nice ah, ah, here's a nice ah, ah. But what happens if I spread my mouth too much? Ah, that doesn't sound good. What did that do? It lifted the larynx and it made my sound too bright. Now, that's okay. Like I always say, I don't say a sound is wrong unless it's harmful. If this is the sound you want, maybe you're doing a character voice or you want a really bright and edgy sound, well then that's okay. But I would say not as your default. Incorporating our exercise, we're gonna sing. Uh, but not. Uh, uh, okay. Higher voices can be here. C4. Lower voices can be there. C3. Here we go. Uh, uh, and no one should be closing their mouth. So I don't want. Uh, uh, you see how distorted that sounds? Okay. One more time. Uh, you're going to be your own teacher in your practice and record yourself. This is how you learn best. Second problem for the A vowel. Listen. Uh, tongue too high. What did that do? Uh, well, that made the tone nasal. Yes, the tongue is higher on the A vowel as compared to the A vowel, but it's just a little bit higher. If we raise it too much, uh, that's the sound we're going to get. So let's start on the ah vowel again, and we're going to go to ah, and you're just going to raise the tongue slightly, not too much, like this. Ah, here we go. Ah, again. Ah, third problem with the ah vowel. Listen. Ah, what happened? I lowered my soft palate too much. So what did that do? Well, that made the sound super nasal because it opened up that nasal port. So yes, we need a little bit of the arch and the soft palate. Listen. Uh, here we go. Uh, again. Uh, again. Uh, a lot more help available for you. If you need to work on your mouth position, see my videos on the mouth position or embouchure. If you have tongue tension, see my playlist on that. If you're confused about the soft palate, see my videos on the soft palate. Problem number four, listen. Ah, again, ah, larynx too high. And if you're confused about the larynx, see my playlist on it. So when the larynx is too high, ah, the sound is too bright and pinched. Again, that's okay if that's the sound you want, but not as your everyday default. Now, you've heard me say it before. Good singers are very vowel conscious. Yes, Every vowel has its own unique color, but it must be within one uniform timbre or else you're going to sound like you have three, four, five different voices. Now, I have two sections on vowels in my audio exercise training program, Victoria's Victoria's Vocal Exercise Program. And if you haven't gotten it yet, 
I sincerely don't know what you're waiting for. It comes in four different voice types. It's for beginning all the way through advanced level singers. I give you a short and long workout and literally hundreds of options depending upon your vocal needs. It's for different styles and we do a lot of troubleshooting for your vocal issues. It's super affordable and the best part is I do regular group classes with members and I want to meet you. So see the link below and sign up right away. Important bonus question. What is your best vowel and what is your most challenging vowel? And if you don't know the answer to this, like I say to all my students, then you don't know your voice very well. We need to know because we always want to work from our best vowel to our most challenging vowel in exercises. See my video on that. And this is the video that YouTube feels you should watch next. Thanks for being here and I'll see you in the next video.